This is Caribou, Colorado. Back in the late 1800s, this was a beehive of activity. And although it doesn't look like much today, there's still a lot of history in these mountains. This is what's called a tailings pile. It's the remnants of an old mine, dirt that was pulled out. And all that's left of this silver mine are these wood beams and some old cables. I'm up here with our 2016 long-term Jeep Wrangler Sport. But the roads up here are pretty rough, so the stock tires just aren't gonna cut it. So today, let's install some fresh rubber and see how they do. So let's explain the tire I decided to go with, the wheel I went with, and why we're upgrading in the first place. So these are the Goodyear Wrangler SRAs that come on the stock Wrangler Sport S. And you know, to be honest, they're just not surviving with the off-road abuse we've put them through even so far. And they're really starting to chunk up a little bit. So it's time for a proper off-road tire. Now, I decided to go with this tire and wheel. This is off of a 2014 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. And as you can see, there's definitely some rock rash going on here. I bought them used on Craigslist the other day for $500, which I think is a very fair deal given the state of the tire and the wheels. Now, the reason I went with this tire and wheel instead of upgrading or going for a lift is I really want the on-road handling characteristics that the Wrangler gives you. I do notice the ride is a little bit harder going over those railroad tracks, but you know, nothing I can't deal with. It did come out of a YJ, so they're great. There is no steering wobble whatsoever. Oh, I'm so happy. After a quick road test, it was time to hit the trails. So here we go. Let's go find us some ghost town. Now it's a beautiful day, so we have the top open, four wheel drive low, BFG mud terrains mounted. Now straight away off-road, you can really tell an improvement in traction, even in mild off-road conditions like this. There's just so much more grip everywhere. I mean, it's really an incredible difference. In my opinion, the number one way to improve your vehicle off-road is through a good set of off-road tires. So what makes the BFGs better than the Goodyear Wrangler SRAs is first off, you have big knobbies to claw at the dirt, the mud, the rocks. Secondly, sidewall protection. This is a big thing when you're off-road. Pointy rocks, especially on a road tire, can easily puncture the sidewall. It's gonna be less of the case with these tires. Next is the compound. This is an off-road compound. It's gonna provide better grip off-road. So recently I had the opportunity to go up the cliffhanger with some buddies. And check out that video now. I think it's selected. Francais, do you want to change language? Je crois que vous avez no! dit Francais, voulez-vous changer de langue? Hang on, it's speaking French Francais, at me. Choisis. No, I don't want, oh my God, I just changed it to French. So the Jeep performed much better on the cliffhanger with these tires than they did with the old Goodyear Wrangler SRAs.
This is all that remains of Caribou, Colorado. Established in 1870, Caribou was once home to about 3,000 at its peak. The town had a brewery, a church, three saloons, and even a newspaper, the Caribou Post. So the town of Caribou actually burned down in 1879 and by 1910 there were only about 50 people that lived within its limits. So even though Caribou's heyday is long over, this is still a great area to visit. Below I will post the Google Map link if you want to come up here and check it out for yourself. Please do, it's a very cool, very adventurous off-road, hiking, biking, recreation area. Once upon a time, Caribou was a successful mining town, and although not much remained of its former past, there is a mining museum just a few miles east in the town of Netherlands. Okay, let's go inside and check out this ghost town. Wow. So be sure to stay tuned to more TFL and more Diffloc as we explore more ghost towns throughout Colorado. And by the way, there's something I want to show you outside. Yes, that's right. If you want to check out this ghost town for yourself, there's a dirt road right here that gets you up here. If you too decide to adventure out to one of the ghost towns we feature, tell us about it. Send an email to info at tflcar.com with a description of your trip and a picture, and we will include it in the next episode of Diffloc. Thanks. So Tommy, you obviously don't need a Wrangler to go down this trail, right? I mean, there are people that we saw pass us in Liberties. Yep. In Path pickup trucks. Pathfinders, yep. In all kinds of SUVs. Yep. But what one thing don't you get in any of those vehicles that you do get in the Wrangler? The open air. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>